Hello mga ka-learning, this is Teacher Jai. Welcome to Learning for All Seasons. In today's video, I shall discuss the rhyme scheme. Also, poets use the rhyme scheme to make a poem musical. This aids the memory for recitation, gives predictable pleasure, and establishes the form. What is rhyme scheme? Is the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line of a poem or song. It is usually referred to by using letters to indicate which lines rhyme. Lines designated with the same letter all rhyme with each other. An example of a rhyme scheme is AB, AB, means the first and third lines or the A's rhyme with each other. And the second line rhymes with the fourth line, or B's, rhyme together. Now, let me test what you have learned about rhyme and rhyme scheme through these examples. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. What words are rhymed together? Let's have... Wall and fall, men and again. What should be the rhyme scheme? The end rhyme in the first line is the word wall. Let's designate the letter A. End rhyme in the second line is the word fall. It is rhymed with the word wall. Then, let's use the letter A. Let's proceed to the third line. The end rhyme is men. Does it rhyme to the words wall or fall? Then, let's use the letter B. For the last line, the end word is again. Since it rhymed with the word men, then let's use the letter B. Therefore, the pattern or rhyme scheme used in the nursery rhyme is A-A-B-B. -B. Let's have another example. When nothing skills my Julia goes, then, then, he thinks how sweetly flows the liquefaction of her clothes. Next, when I cast mine eyes and see that brave vibration each way free, oh, how that glittering taketh me, by Robert Herrick. What are the following end rhymes in the poem? The following words are, goes, Flows and clothes for the first stanza. For the second stanza, the following words are See, free, and me. What will be the rhyme scheme used in the poem? Let's begin with the first stanza. Using A for the word goes. Since flows is rhymed with the first word, then another A. Same with the word clothes is A. Pattern for the first stanza is A, A, A. Then let's proceed to the second stanza. The first word is C. Does it rhyme with the words goes, flows, or clothes? Then let's use letter B. Next is free. It is rhymed with C. Let's use B and for the last end word, me is another B. The pattern used for the second stanza is B, B, B. Therefore, the pattern or rhyme scheme used in the poem is A, 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 B, B, B. Another example, hearing your arms is where I belong. The beating of your heart is like a beautiful song. What are the following end rhymes? Let's have arms, belong, heart, and song. What will be the rhyme scheme used in the poem? Let's begin our pattern with the letter A for the word arms. Does it rhyme with the word belong? Then let's have the letter B. How about the word heart? Does it rhyme to the word arms or belong? We will be using the letter C. And for the last word, song, 
it is rhymed with the word belong. Let's use the letter B. The pattern or rhyme scheme used in the poem is A, B, C, B. Always remember, rhyme scheme is the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line of a poem or song. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned from this video. I have provided activity sheets with answers key based from the lesson. Just click the link down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell for more updates. Till then!